Welcome to this classic soul video blog. It's Warren Stevens checking in on the Aplana Cool Tour with Music Soul Child. Yeah. Thank you so much. We are blessed and honored to, to, for you to take time out. No, definitely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And, and I, I've seen many a show here in, at the Palace Theater in Columbus, right. Ohio. That was a huge thank set. You. I honestly mean that. Thank you. Thank you. You, you know, on the, way, on the way here, I was hoping I'd get the interview with you, got the interview with you. There's so many things I wanted to ask, but in the, for the sake of time, just mm -hmm. right off the bat, Virtually everything you make mm -hmm. uh, just turns into a hit, huh. and, and I just had to ask, what is the what is the well, or what do you tap into for your inspiration for your music? What you do? Um, I just use the gift that God gave me. I use my intelligence. I use my ears. I use my soul to try to soak up whatever's around me, and I try to translate that and articulate that through through this gift of music. Um, I don't really come up with everything. Um, I don't really come up with anything. Or at least the only thing that I come up with is a creative way of expressing it. Um, I talk about things that happen and that goes on every day. And I think that's, I, I attribute it to that. That I think what people identify with that they still choose to invest it in. Because it's something that's credible and, and valid to them. It's something that they can apply to their lives. You know, just like food or clothes or gas in your car. It's something that people need. And I always try to make that the pivot of my intentions to make sure that I have something that people need. You know, anybody can sing, anybody can dance, anybody can do whatever, but what are you contributing to somebody's life that they, they'll be willing to spend their energy, their time, and their hard-earned money, especially in this economy nowadays, yeah. on your music. Yeah. So I, I try to make it about, I, I do my best to make it about the people as much as possible. So it goes a little a little deeper than the music. Yeah, it's, it's way deeper than yeah. the music. The music is just the vehicle, okay. you know. Um, but my passion and my intentions is, I, I just want to uh, express how much uh, love that I have for humanity, how much love I have for 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 creativity and expressing myself and inspiring people and helping them to work out whatever issues or challenges that they may need help or therapy to deal with or whatever the case may be through okay. music. What what age did you did you realize you had that gift? Because you certainly had the gift. You got it. I didn't realize that it was such a big deal until like late in my late teens. Early, early on in my life, I could always do it, like sing and make songs out of anything. But I didn't really think that it was such a big deal. I actually used to think that everybody could do it. I didn't, you know, I thought just like people could run and climb trees, I used to think that I, you know, everybody could sing. So you didn't study in school or? No, I wasn't formally trained at it. Um, I did get some pointers along the way from vocal coaches and, you know, other singers and musicians. But for the most part, I just picked it up and figured it out on my own. Definitely God showed me the way and put people in my life where I was able to, you know, take heed and, and, and humble myself to, uh, to consume whatever information was being presented to me. Uh, however, for the most part, you know, I had to figure it out. Okay. And I know you're, you're a relatively young man. You're out of Philadelphia, and I had to ask you, I know you're relatively young, but did you get any influence from the, the Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes? Definitely. The OJs, Billy yeah. Paul. TSOP, yeah. yeah uh, the the sound of Hall. Yeah, definitely. I learned, oh, yeah, when, you're in, when you're in Philadelphia, or when you're in any town that, that's so rich in, in creativity and in music, you will soak it up whether you want it or not. You know, it's like being at your mama crib, you know, your mom and your dad, they want to say stuff that you need to learn, that you need to hear, and they're going to lead by example. Whether you want it or not, you're going to be exposed to it. Whether you pick it up or not, whether you like it or not, it's around you. So subconsciously, you're just going to pick up on it. Um, I definitely attribute my sound um, a lot to that, you know, to the sound of Philadelphia and whatever that was going on in that city at that time when I was growing up. Um, I'm grateful uh, for the fact that it was so, so rich in music. Okay, and if you ever get a chance to see this gentleman on tour, you gotta do it. The band, what's the band's name? Anime. Anime, I mean, like Anime Bullet. Yeah, it's an all-female band, yeah. and mm -hmm. they are tight. And, and I do not smack them up. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see me if you get if you get on tour. This is the plane and cool tour. Yeah. And, uh, I cannot express to you here at the Palace Theater in Columbus, yeah. Ohio. You literally had them in your hands. Like, when you went into Buddy, I thought the whole place was going to explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just try to, you know, what I'm saying, just have a good time. You know, uh, it, it's a lot. It's a lot like, I don't know, it's a lot like, it's not like anything, it's like a party, it's, it's like church, it's like, it's like a family reunion, it's just like everybody getting down on the same thing, on the Building same field. Fellowship. Yeah, yeah, everybody fellowship, yeah, that's a good word, yeah. definitely, you know, I don't want it to be, I'm just on stage singing some songs, yeah. you know, I could do that in the bathroom taking a shower, yeah. and you can listen to my album in the car. You know, I want to have I want to have an experience with everybody here. All right. Well, the Classic Soul Video Blog. We are blessed and very lucky to have Music Soul Child. I'm blessed to be here. Thank you, you talk, for having me. I not a problem. It. You talk about if anyone, one person at the top of the R&B 
music game, this guy is it. We thank okay. you so much. No, thank you, man. Thank okay. you very much. Big shout out to Chrisette Michelle and Anthony Hamilton, my counterparts out here on this road. I'm definitely enjoying myself and having a great time, and I'm, I'm grateful.